I also got opportunity to talk with my grandma and I have like a lot of conversations and more, more like stories that I have like never heard of. Whenever I used to go to a family function, I was just greeting them by their name or what my parents have told me but then I had no knowledge about what they mean uh, or what, how they're connected to me. So after doing this video, my mom actually took an hour out of her time to explain it to me like how everyone is connected to each other and how we all are in a family. I got more closer to my family because during that time they actually shared their life stories and everything and I found out that my mom loved hiking, running and everything. I didn't know that I was actually related to the first king's father and my great grandparents actually lived in the first king's house so that was a very uh, shocking and unique fact that i learned about my family before i didn't interact much with my grandparents after young years i was able to interact with them more and they were also surprised as i was asking them so many questions about our ancestors and all now this technology has made us really far from our families. As we try to interact with people further from us, we are getting further from the people who are closer to us. So family, family genealogy has given me an opportunity to interact well, well with my family. They feel happy that you are spending more time with them and asking questions about uh, how our ancestors have lived. It was really nice since uh, we got to connect to my history, <laughs> my grandmother from my father's side. So. She was quite young when she went to the Olympics. She went there for the archery competition. And it was my father had told me that she was one of the first people to go to the Olympics to represent the <laughs> The whole uh, competition and the research proposal thing has um, helped us <coughs> do better researches and research more on the topic and get good and verified um, content for the research rather than just picking uh, some random information from the internet. For this competition, we had to do a project proposal and that is something we have to do in our life science class also. And then we had to know how to connect these information. So I think that was a really important skill. Before, uh, when they are teaching, I will not research uh, about it uh, before at all. But nowadays, I am searching more things about it and it, I learning it deeply. And now I start to research everything in the every subject. This research that Iyadra suggested, it became a model for me. Now, our aspect has changed. We really know which sites have credibility. Before, the Ara Palam was just something lying on the wall. We didn't even know what it was. It was just there <laughs> as we moved the core. But now, uh, as we did like uh, a very detailed research, we found out a lot about it. And we also found out that artifacts have a lot of stories behind them. Through this competition, after getting to know what the Ara Palang meant, I feel like after that, I want to learn more and I want to listen to more stories that my grandparents have to tell. Before, um, they, I think they thought that I had no interest in learning about the things that were lying at our home. But through this competition, I feel like I am more interested about learning history and old artifacts. Before that, I didn't like the subject history. When the teachers are telling chapter or the story, I, the story I can imagine in my mind and it has helped me my grades are also good our perspective towards history it has completely changed it is totally an interesting uh, subject it is not just a bunch of textbooks i did not like history at all i used to not even open the history textbook to read when i attended this, this competition my whole uh, experience changed about history it showed me that history is not only what is read in the textbooks it is to be visualized in the mind